Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Linear momentum and collision. Momentum and impulse. In this session, I'd like to show you what is momentum and impulse. First, let's talk about momentum. Momentum is defined as the product of mass and the velocity. So we use P to represent momentum equals m times v. m is mass, and v is velocity. So from the formula we can see, because mass is a scalar, so that's why velocity is vector. So that's why momentum is also a vector. The direction of momentum is the direction of velocity. So momentum is vector quantities, has same direction as velocity v. The unit of momentum equals kilogram multiplied velocity, which is meter per second. So the unit is kilogram multiplied meter per second. Let's look at the example. A 170-gram hockey puck slides towards a hockey player with a velocity of 38 meters per second. What is the momentum of the hockey puck? Looking for the momentum of the hockey puck, follow the formula we have P equals M times V. The mass of the hockey puck is 170 gram. We need to convert to kilogram, which is 0 0.170 kilogram, because one kilogram is 1,000 grams. And the velocity is 38 meter per second. So P equals the magnitude when 0 0.170 kilogram multiplied 38, you call 0 0.46. 0 0.4. 6.46, sorry, 6.46 kilogram time meter per second. The direction is at the same direction with the velocity. Let's say uh, the hockey puck is moving this way. To the towards hockey player, if the hockey player is in here, they move to the direction of hockey player. So the direction of momentum is the direction of velocity. And second, I like to talk to you what is impulse. Impulse of a force is defined as the product of average force and the time it is exerted. So J equals F average multiplied delta T. You may ask for why is average force? Because talking about the impulse of force, the time is very short. 0.1 second or 0.01 second, even less. And even so short time and the force also changeable because inputs. So that's why we use average force to represent the force. So J equals F times delta T because delta T is scalar, so that's why the direction of J equal the direction of force. So that's why impulse of force has the same direction as average force. And the unit of impulse equals Newton times second. So look at an example. The hockey player apply 
an average force of 145 Newton to the approaching hockey puck for 0 0.1 second. What is the impulse applied to the hockey puck? So follow the formula. We have J equals average force times delta T. The average force given is 145 Newton time the acting time is 0 0.1 second. That's why we can see the impulse equals 14.5 Newton times second. And the direction of the impulse is the direction of average force. Because the question one, we already labor the momentum of the pokey hockey puck is moving this way. And the hockey player is hit the hockey puck in this way. So the force is going this way. So that's why the direction of impulse also is the direction of average force. So this is presented by wise guys.